The Capitol Hill Counseling and Resource Center was created to address the mental health needs of all DC residents, regardless of income levels. The nonprofit is getting ahead of mental health issues by addressing potential stressors surrounding health, education, finances, and just being a youth. Welcome to Impact Moment, brought to you by DCTV. I'm Rebecca Burnett, and today I'm joined by founder and board member, Dr. Emil Peeler. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here. So can you tell me what the inspiration was behind uh, founding your nonprofit and also getting ahead of mental health issues before they arise in the first place? Well, we really wanted to help build stronger communities by providing evidence-based uh, mental health services. And we also want to offer resources that improve lives and, you know, by providing knowledge, support, assistance to empower individuals and families there in our community and beyond. Like many other counseling centers, you launched virtual therapy during the pandemic. And one of my favorite ones that you did, I thought it was so cool, was the virtual cooking class called Food as Medicine. And I imagine that it was kind of uh, advantageous to be able to reach your clients in their kitchens. Can you tell me about what the inspiration was behind creating that and what kind of a service it did for the people who maybe needed it at the time? Well, it was absolutely great. And the response was tremendous um, just for that. Our first one, we had uh, over 75 uh, people register, and it was a virtual event, and it was absolutely amazing because we have a certified health coach. Her name is Annalise, and uh, it was it was based and rooted on the idea and the expectation of um, of people becoming totally well in mind, in body, and in soul. And, and a lot of people are trying to get healthy and get well. And so one of the things that we wanted to emphasize is the, that health is wealth. And so Annalise created a, a program and it was an instant success. And it, it was a, um, uh, a cooking class that many, and from all economic stratas, uh, many colors and people really enjoyed. She made it very uh, interactive and it was based on the, the need for people to, to obtain total wellness, especially in these down times. And I think that we often attribute mental health and food to be very interconnected. But I think one more thing that you kind of, you go, you push the envelope even more is you're using nutrition to defeat cancer series, which I also think is a really great idea. What was the idea behind that and how can connecting food to maybe someone who is, who is undergoing cancer treatment or maybe just received a cancer diagnosis, how can those two things when combined help someone's overall mental health and maybe like overall world outlook? Listen, food is so important to one's overall health and how to. Uh, we have two separate uh, programs and uh, uh, one is defeating cancer with nutrition and that is uh, uh, led by Dr. Singleton and his nutritionist wife. And so uh, that is a separate one. And that was absolutely successful when we did that several times at the uh, Counseling and Resource Center. Um, we, we found, first of all, that um, cancer uh, can be cured. And if not cured, it, the, the wellness and uh, the quality of life for the cancer per patient can, can be um, uh, enabled in a way that it can be improved through their diet. And so uh, defeating cancer with nutrition, uh, it, people who either were cancer patients themselves or their family members, they, they were taught what types of food that they could get and eat and consume so that it would help them in their situation. So that was uh, one. And then a uh, food as medicine, uh, it was a different one that we were talking about with uh, Annalise. And so we, we find that if, in fact, you emphasize a healthy mind and a body and spirit, it comes with uh, knowing what to put in your body, because uh, it is an amazing thing that when your body is healthy, you will have a more clear mind. So those are two different ones, but they were very, very su successful, Rebecca. 
That programming just sounds amazing. And I love that the, that the cancer series is run by a husband and wife. Talk about a power duo. So thank you so much for joining me today for this segment. And thank you so much to our viewers for tuning in to this episode of Impact Moment. It's part of DCTV's nonprofit capacity building grants program, our original programming to highlight the ways our area's nonprofits are making a difference. Stay up to date with our latest productions and tune in to our live stream at dctv.org. Thank you, Dr. Peeler. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for having us uh, and be blessed.